Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just another quick video to show you, in case you are unaware, how to disable apps at startup on Windows 11. So these are the apps that start up automatically when you boot up your system or restart your Windows 11 device now. Um, for most, this will be obvious, but for some, not that obvious. So in case you're unaware, um, you have apps that launch automatically when you start your system. Now, some of these apps will actually um, boot up and you will see start when you start up your device. They will actually show up and appear on your desktop. Uh, but most of the uh, apps that launch and run on startup run automatically in the background. So basically, they have services that run in the background and processes that run in the background uh, during startup of Windows 11. And this obviously can have a negative impact um, on your system performance overall, because the more services and processes you have running in the background, the more system resources are used. Um, um, it will obviously uh, cause your system to boot up and start up a lot slower. And um, it will also have a negative impact on your battery life. Um, if you're like me and are, say, using a battery powered device, um, like a laptop as an example. So um, if you want to optimize your system startup performance, um, basically the goal here is to disable as many apps as possible that you don't need on startup. And um, in Windows, there are a lot of um, apps that do uh, um, that are listed by default in the startup list that most users don't need. Now, on Windows 11 and Windows 10, it's actually the, the process is very similar. So on Windows 11, just head to your settings menu and then head over to apps. And yeah, at the bottom of the apps page, just click on startup. And yeah, you have your startup apps. And it says here, yeah, apps can be configured to start when you log in. In most cases, apps will start minimized or may only start a background task, as I did mention. Now, the default listing is by name, sort bar. So you want to go to the sort bar and click on startup impact. And this will give you the impact of the different apps that are starting up, starting up automatically when you uh, boot up your device. Now, um, at first, um, they are sorted from high impact, low impact, and then you get to no impact at the bottom. And I would suggest, first of all, going to high impact. And if there's any high impact apps that which will have the most impact on your, your system performance, would um, if you don't need those apps, to disable as many of those as possible. Now, as an example, on my system, I use Google Drive and OneDrive as my automatic backup client. So although they have high impact on my system performance and startup, I'll leave them on because they are quite important to my everyday computing needs. And this will be different for every user because everybody's computing needs, as many of you know, are different. And the goal here would be to disable as many apps as you can. And this will might take for some a little bit of experimenting and tweaking and adjusting, but you'll eventually get a balance. And you want to disable as many apps as possible that start up and have processes and services running in the background. So as another example, if I just head down to no impact right at the bottom, here's my Intel Graphics Command Center. Now I've turned that off because even though it's got no impact, I don't need that running in the background. I can go to that in my start menu and click on that and, in, and access my Intel Graphics Command Center straight from there. But as an example, as mentioned, if you don't use OneDrive, which has got a high impact, just toggle that off and then find as many as you can and toggle um, the apps that you, you find you don't need to, to launch um, on, on a startup when you start up your Windows um, 10 and 11 device. And as I say, this will take a little bit of experimenting, but once you get that right, you'll see a, a, a positive impact on your system performance and um, definitely a faster boot up times and, and startup times. And it doesn't mean though, if you turn off an app like OneDrive, uh, that 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 um, has removed the app from your system. The app will continue to be available um, on your device, but it will no longer start automatically during startup. And that, as mentioned, could improve your system performance. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.